So I'm tired of having just a hole in the ground full of water with no way of being able to get it out. So let's go get a well put together. We have water! different day hi right, hey y'all welcome back to the journey Anson here or the big bearded Yeti yeah I'm not the giggly one <laughs> so in case you guys didn't know that's like our little pet names or nicknames I guess bearded Yeti Gladys says giggles but she is feeling a lot better she's still not able to really come out and do any type of work uh, her follow-up appointment though is coming up this week so once she goes and talks to her doctor again and she gets that that go ahead to start doing some other things then she'll be back out to the property to be able to help me with some of these projects but for now i'm working on getting this well put together but i don't have everything that i need so i'm gonna have to go to the store probably today or tomorrow but I'm going to try to get knocked out what I can for today, but for y'all, you're going to be able to see everything right here together. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with what I have, and then it's going to be like, whoop, that you guys will be able to see everything else. So let's get started. All right, so coming over here to the truck, uh, these are basically the parts that I bought. Uh, this is just off the top of my head uh, of buying uh, the things that I needed. I knew that I was going to need additional parts. I just didn't know exactly what off the top of my head. All right, so I do have the piece that's going to be going to the pipe that connects uh, to the actual pump itself. Then we have a, a check valve that's going to be at the inlet. So this comes up and just allows the water to basically stay in this area. It's not going to be able to go back down into the well. All right, we have a pressure relief. I'm actually going to need the nipple for right here. Uh, it can be short, long, it doesn't really matter. I'm probably just gonna get a nice little a two inch. And then I need a step down. So I need to go from a three quarter to a half inch for here. And then over here, I'm going to need a one inch down to a three quarter for that. And then obviously, uh, the the hose bib it goes straight in the, the pressure gauge goes straight in and then my nipple here goes straight in for my pressure switch okay and the pressure switch will sit up here like that does it need to be this tall no nah, probably not but that's okay gives it plenty of, of room uh, for everything to live and then over here on the side i have my tank so I'm going to go ahead and, and try to get most of this stuff uh, put together the best that I can. And then I'm going to switch over to the actual pump itself, going ahead and getting the, the wire and such connected to that. And then getting the hose connected to that, along with the wire that I'm going to be utilizing for lowering the pump down into the uh, well itself. All right.
right, so I got the pieces that I could put on. Like I said, I still need to get the adapters or the, the nipples that I need for those. But let's go ahead and switch over to wiring up the pump. All right, y'all. So I've been going and getting more stuff. So if you're doing connections, electrical connections, and you don't want to have to redo it, you want to make sure that it's nice and watertight and, and such, then I highly suggest uh, getting it's the solder and seal wire connectors. And hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I didn't bring the microphones and I know it's a little windy. Uh, these you actually use a heat gun and it uh, seals your wires together using uh, the solder. Connection. Uh, plus these are uh, sealed on the ends. It does seal it watertight, but for extra protection, I also like to utilize the heat shrink. Now these are this type of heat shrink it is a adhesive lined. That's what you want to look for, adhesive lined. And this has a three to one shrink ratio, which is pretty good. Because uh, right now, the biggest one that I have is already the size pretty close to it of my uh, submersible pump, pump cable. Okay, so this is a 12-2 uh, gauge and it rated for up to 600 volts. All right, so once I make my connection, and I'm probably gonna utilize more than just one of these. So I put this here. I don't know if you can kind of tell, it goes to about there, right? That way I'm gonna seal it to the outer portion of this uh, cable. All right, I'm gonna make my connections. I'm gonna have another, uh, probably one or two of these onto my wire because it doesn't need to be over the whole wire just where you're making the connection because you don't want water getting in there to penetrate uh, your wires. Okay. And I, yes, I know that they make a kit that you can do for this, but to me, the kit, which I do have, it's just, it doesn't seem like it's good enough for me, I guess. <laughs> so I went ahead and, and got these and, and I'll link this down uh, in the description if you guys would like to, to pick up any of this uh, stuff, because I mean, if you own a boat, if you own an RV, uh, even if you own an automobile, all this stuff works really, really good for all of those things. You know, if you're having to do any type of uh, connections, I, I'll even link this wire. Uh, down in the description and like i said it it kind of puts pennies back into our pocket too so we definitely appreciate that those of you that are checking out those things and and get it on order all right so here we are actually it's the next day i'm actually over here at the house i brought the pump and everything with me because i did not have the heat gun with me at the property so Went ahead and loaded everything up into the truck, brought it here. I was going to do it here at the house yesterday, but the weather, weather, weather. As you can see, it was raining. <laughs> we had you know, water and all that such. So, but anyway, 
let me go ahead and get you all set up. We'll get this pulled out and let's get it connected. So let me go ahead and get some of my connectors. So with this here, let's get these on. Uh, flies today are gonna drive me crazy. So what I'm gonna do with this is you just take these, just kind of mush that wire together like so. We're still somewhat a loose connection, okay? All right, so have it sitting upright uh, like this to where you can get to either side of it with your gun. Then you go ahead and get your gun powered up. So that actually um, goes into a self-cooling mode. But I don't know if you can kind of see, like you're gonna start seeing some of the wires come through uh, that connection. All right, like I said, it does seal on both sides to your wire and then has the, the little connection on the inside. So because this one seals to the wire, uh, I'm not worried about putting individual uh, pieces of the, the shrink tubing on each wire. I mean, you can do that if you would like. But I am not going to do that. Alright, to me that looks really good. You can see where it started melting the solder, getting all the, the wires and stuff in there uh, soldered together. Next up is bringing the heat shrink. Remember what I said yesterday that this actually has the a glue on the inside. So I'm going to bring this one to the middle. So the idea of this is you don't want water uh, getting into any of your connections, okay? You can even see there some of that glues come out. <laughs> That's good. That's what you want. All right. Like I said, I want this wire laying as flat as possible. Because when it's flat is whenever it's going to seal up the best. Not being rounded. Get all that glue. Yep. 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 It is hot. But press that down in there, that glue's gonna go in between the wires and get it nice and sealed up. And there's our connection. All right, so next up is actually going to be the cable that I'm gonna use for lowering the pump down into the well. 
Okay. And I actually want to run this into both eyelets. Probably does not need to be like that. That's how I'm gonna do it. Um, my little cable clamps that I have, these are actually stainless. Okay. The cable is also a stainless. Anytime you're using these, you always wanna have two, two minimum, two clamps minimum. Depending on the, the weight of whatever you're doing, I'm sure there's uh, calculators and, and different stuff out there of, of how many you should be utilizing, you know, based off of weight or the amount of tension that you're going to be putting onto your cable. Now let's get those tightened up and then we'll be done. <clears throat> All right. In there. So obviously the, the hose and all that is back at the property. So I get the hose on here, get the clamps two clamps, the radiator clamps that go on that. Um, you do want to try to have one sitting right in here to be able to pinch that down. Okay, and then you put them both uh, together and then that, that will be good. And... All right, so we're back at the property and I have the other pieces that I need for the tank. It's actually the next day. I'm actually out here on a Sunday just for y'all. So yes, I, I normally come out uh, seven days a week <laughs> to do some type of work as long as the weather permits. And right now the sun is shining, but we still have rain in the forecast. So let's continue uh, working on getting this well put together. So I was able to find uh, the fittings I needed for here and here, but over here, I was not able to do that. So I ended up having to go with a another nipple and then I actually had to buy another valve a one inch valve instead of a three quarter like I'd had previously so that will go there shut off valve and then I have the adapter here for the pressure relief valve then I have the nipple here for our check valve and the piece needed to go onto the black pipe.
And then I ended up getting a gate valve. So previously I'd had a ball valve. Which they, they both work fine. I didn't finish tightening, tightening this side up all the way. That way, get this valve tight and then finish tightening this to bring the valve up to the top. All right, so that's all put together. And yes, I am here by myself. So getting it back off the truck is gonna be fun as I was putting it on the truck. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff that I need over next to uh, the well, the blocks, because the reason why I put this on the truck is so I can actually drive it over to where I need to go, close to where I need it to be. That way I can just set it down onto the blocks. So Now comes the fun part. I let it slide down the truck. <sighs> Woo, all right, so there we go. I got it off the truck. I got it set in place. Now, I have the pump in the back of the truck. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hose. I'm gonna get that all connected up. I'm gonna get everything ready and set in place. And then we're gonna work on getting, I'm gonna build a, a little structure, uh, A-frame type tripod thing. I just built to help me with getting the pump itself lowered down into the well. So, oh, no rest for the weary. So let's get busy. So now I got the, the hose in place. Now it's just getting these uh, clamps tightened down. Which these are stainless steel clamps. You always, if stuff that's underwater, you you want it to be stainless. And I like to do uh, two, um, and you put them in opposite directions. So I I know for like fuel systems or. Uh, different things like that. Um, it's actually required to have two two clamps. All right, so everything's ready to go in to the hole. 
now I just got to get the frame put together. And that's where uh, I'm going to take a, a little breather. And now that I have the A-frame all set up, let's go over here and check this out. You guys have already seen this, but it's still here. I got my snatch block in. Nice and hefty. So my cable, I don't believe is long enough, but that's okay because even if it is not, I do have some of this line here that will work just fine underwater. But what I need to do is I need to make a loop at the end of my cable in the event of so I'm gonna walk 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 down to the end and I had right here just a little bit of fraying is only like one or two strands I got birds over there fighting I got off I'm trying to film but and I just want to put tape on it just so I knew where it was so it doesn't cut me but the cable's still plenty strong enough to hold the weight of the pump. And all the way down here to the end, so. Which I don't think that is. So I need to go down to the bottom, which is roughly 97 feet. And then once I've reached the bottom, I need to pull it back up, so. If the cable's not long enough, I want to make sure that I have a rope on there that the rope will be long enough to get it down to where I need to go and then to at least get it down to the bottom and then pull it back up the 10 feet. So uh, from there, hopefully the, the wire itself will be long enough and then I can take the rope off. So, But anyway, let's get a loop put onto this side. Let's get the rope tied on. Uh, nice and good and then we'll get it hooked into the tripod system that I had set up from the other video So let's go and here goes nothing <laughs> so all I got left to do is get the well down there or get the pump down into the hole so. all right this is gonna be the fun part Still haven't reached the bottom yet, so now I got to tie off. I got one more line like this that I'm gonna tie off because I want to hit the bottom and I want to come back 10 feet. So There's the bottom. 
So, and I knew it was close to, because this right here, 100 feet. And I measured out the pipe at being 97. So, that's pretty close. <laughs> pretty close. All right. So, I can slack that off. See, it's not going to go nowhere. I don't want my my line is falling down to the well. And I'm going to bring it up what I think to be 10 feet, measure it, and we'll kind of go from there. already drawing water out of the well. All right, I'm going to have to leave it about here. Because, for one, I don't have the elbows. I need to get three elbows. Uh, basically, to go from there, 90, 90, and then 90 to go down. But, obviously, for me, I'll be getting that the next day. For you guys, it'll be like an three seconds so three two one here we are back on a new day new shirt this one's actually dry for now ah uh, i was actually trying to we're still trying to get the other generator started the one that we got from a family friend it just it does not want to start and since gladys cannot help me pick up anything i cannot pick up the other generator by myself so and I can't walk it through the creek, so I'd have to w walk with it all the way around the property. Uh, uh, yeah, not going to be fun. So, I don't know. I might have to call on someone to say, hey, can you come help me load up this generator? Because I got the plug. Because as of right now, we still, still do not have our service pole um, in this area for the well that is coming that is coming but we don't have it yet so therefore to run the pump for the well i need to plug it into the generator so i have my different pieces cut because as i was showing that i needed to go get some elbows then i also got some of the uh, stainless steel uh, the radiator clamps do some of it here at the truck and then I'll go over to the well so let me go ahead and get all this put together and then uh, I'll be right back with that done that's basically what it looks like <laughs> so now it is time to go put it onto the well now I only bought enough of these to do one uh, just one clamp for now even though I put two onto the pump because it's down the well well this is easily accessible so i'm doing one for now just to save a, a few pennies but if it looks like i'm i'm going to need two then i'll go ahead and and purchase those because i can add those in after the fact a lot easier on this than i can the pump all the way down the bottom of the well so let's go get this installed <coughs> um Almost forgot. Gotta put the clamp on first, Anson. There we go. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and put two here just because that's a smaller fitting, but it'll be all right. Like I said, I, I still need to do the electrical first before I connect here. That way I can get the water flowing first, get it rinsed out, and then I'll come, I'll put the switch in, get this connected to here, get it filled up. So let's switch over to the electrical. 
Okay, so I have the plug. So this is a, it's a 30 amp rated plug. I have it wired in for 220. And if you don't know how to do that, just, you know, follow the instructions on the, the box or look it up. All right, and then I have my switch wired in for my line in. Okay, so that's a hot and a hot, and then you have your ground. All right, so now it's time to go put this in, and then I'll wire the pump in to the uh, switch. I'm gonna have to take that off. Uh, I might even have to get a smaller. Smaller nipple. I don't want to do it, but I'm going to have to take this wire off just to make it easier on me. Oh, and I'd like to hurry because it's starting to sprinkle. If you learn anything from watching the things that I do, uh, you learn what not to do. That's all right. Never said I was a professional. In the final turn. All right. Boom. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, so let's bring you all in so you can see what I did. All right, so the switch is labeled, right? So you have line one, line two, so that's your line in. And then you have going down to your pump, which everything's labeled, okay? So I got my plug, or th this one's going to the pump, and then this one's going to my plug. That way I can plug it in and... <laughs> If you guys have been following us on Instagram, you'll see how I got the generator over here. <laughs> uh, portable generator. Look at there. Wow. Yep, yeah, only dropped it twice. Right, so one of the features I love about this uh, generator, remote start. So I can't be next to the generator and <laughs> next to the well. Uh, to be able to hold that pipe. So what I'm gonna do is pull the 
hold this, start the generator. Turn off the generator, <laughs> and now I'm gonna connect my pipe. All right, I got it all connected. So I have the gate valve open. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart the generator. <laughs> this one's actually too small. This is a one inch. I need it to be an inch and a quarter. So, ah. we have water. <laughs> all right, so she's all done. Got it pumped up. So, right now it, it kicked off. I just turned off the generator. That way I can actually talk. But, whoo, yeah, this is the last thing that we needed uh, to be able to move on to the property. So now we have water, we have the sewage dump. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check it out. Everything else, you know, we got power up at the RV. Uh, all that's left now is how are we getting the water from the well all the way over here to go all the way over there. Well, I can give you a clue. You've probably seen it. Bink. Yep. So, that one, that video is coming soon. So, definitely appreciate y'all for following the journey. Make sure you're checking all the links that we have down in the description. It's greatly appreciated. And last but not least, remember, always thank a veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day. And we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.